today's webinar is on cost innovation using innovation and innovation tools and deep insight to make step changes in cost. Uh, I would now hand it over to Mr. Walker to take it from here, please. Great, thank you very much, Shai. So uh, this is the second of three webinars that I'll be doing with CII. Uh, the first one was on jobs to be done, which was on how to gain deep insight into customers. And this is how do you use that, not just to get more revenue, which is often a focus of innovation, but to look at the other side of the ledger and really look at what you're spending and how you can make not just small cuts, we're not talking about Lean or Six Sigma here, but really big changes in your cost structure. Um, by way of very quick background for anybody who wasn't on my first webinar, uh, I've written three books. Costivation is the most recent one, came out in August, and uh, happily it was just awarded by Canada's leading newspaper, The Globe and Mail, uh, one, one of the best business books of 2018. Uh, so that's the second of those uh, awards that it's won, and we're very happy about that. So to start thinking about cost evasion, uh, it's the end of a, a work week. It might be a good time to think about a little bit of exercise. So imagine that we are going to build a gym, and uh, we have to things in our gym to make our members want to come and be satisfied with the gym. So what can we do? What can we put in this gym to make it a really compelling experience for people? Well, we could add a bunch of stationary bikes, for instance. Uh, we could have a big free weight section. We could have yoga classes, uh, treadmills. You could have personal trainers. Uh, and of course, you can have showers and towels and overall make it a fairly uh, comprehensive, deluxe experience. Now, imagine that we don't do that, but rather we take almost all of that away. And basically, our gym is just treadmills. Doesn't sound like a very good gym, does it? But you know what? That is one of the most successful gyms in the United States. Planet Fitness, publicly traded company, it just reached over 10 million members. It is the fastest growing gym in the United States. It doesn't have <coughs> exercise classes. It doesn't have personal trainers. It doesn't have the free weights. But you never have to wait for a cardio machine because it has lots and lots of those. And the target market that it's going after isn't going for the free weights and the personal trainers and the complicated stuff because they want only simple workouts, the 30-minute Planet Fitness Express, for instance, that you see there. It's a very simple proposition. It's very targeted and it's very low cost. Membership costs just $10 a month, which is about a fifth or a sixth of what you might pay at competitive gyms. Now, this is not just an experience that's cheap, however. The fascinating thing about Planet Fitness is that if you look industry-wide at customer satisfaction metrics, Planet Fitness is number one. It is no frills, it's simple, but what it does, it does very well, and it does in a highly targeted way, and so therefore it delights customers while also being just $10 a month. So this is cost evasion at work. This is in